winner Ooh. of the 2015 Great British Bake Off is Nadia. Ah. Woo! All the feels. Hi, I'm Nadia Hussain, author of my new cookbook, Fast Flavours, and I'm here to react to some of my very own iconic moments. I don't know what I'm going to watch right now, but let's do it. Okay. Paul and Mary would very much like you to bake a towering tin inferno of baked cheesecakes. So, on your marks, get set. Bake! Really, you got pastry and you got. Pastry. Oh, I hate watching myself. Any of them as with Italian meringue pop that will kind of fizz down, and then it'll have um, crystallized ginger and lemon and. Okay. See, this is the point where you know when you watch Bake Off. And you're like, I'm going to do this, and it's going to be a levitating can of pop, and it's going to be an illusion. So you're like, you are so going to fail. What are you even thinking? I, when I look back at this six years ago, it's like, what made you think that you were going to do that in this time? I'm going to have them cascading down the side of my Italian meringue foam out of my levitating <laughs> candy. <laughs> oh my God, what, what have I, I done? done? <laughs> Time is up. Step away from your bakes, please. What's Matt's face? Sorry, did anyone see Matt's face? Matt's face when he looked when he see like that. Like, I think I didn't even look at it at that point. That looks amazing. Very clever. Is that a tiny meringue? Probably one of my proudest moments for sure. I mean, it looks when you when I, when I watch that back, you definitely can sense the fear. And it's not even the fact that Paul and Mary are scary because they're not. But you do put your heart and soul into these bakes. You know, you put everything into somebody liking your bakes. Like I know me and I can hear it in my voice. I'm really nervous. I can just like, oh. Anyone who watches it or has watched it will know that like it's like it is quite a daunting moment when they turn up and they, they, they're judging your bakes. Because for the most part, when you're baking cake, no one like they love the fact that you bake them something. So, yeah, it is still just as scary to watch it back. You know, I did a cheesecake tower for goodness sake in four hours. Uh, come on. Like, if I don't know. I mean, that's like, that's magnificent. It's magnificent. It's wonderful. And I'm proud of that. The winner of the 2015 Great British Bake Off. I've only ever watched this twice. Nadia. Ah. Watch, I'm sure my dad jumps and my kids get all. Oh, oh, my babies. <laughs> you know, I gave the trophy back. I said, are you sure you haven't made a mistake? And he said, don't be ridiculous. You've won this fair and square. And now that I've worked in the world of television, I know they were never about to film that over another two days. But yeah. Oh, look at it in the face. She's never been the winner before, has she? She is now, though. She is now. I am never, ever going to put boundaries on myself ever again. I'm never going to say, I can't do it. I'm never going to say maybe. I'm never going to say I don't think I can. I can and I will. <laughs> and she did. <laughs> and she did. Sheer perfection. And I enjoyed every minute. I mean, it's not a proud moment, but I did make Mary cry. I mean, I shouldn't be proud of it, and I'm sure Mary won't mind me saying, but I did make her cry. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Woo! All the feels. Oh, you know what? When I watch that back, it takes me right back to that. All those feelings, the emotions, the kind of head spin, the perspiration. I kid you not, it literally takes me back to that moment. Like everyone's like, oh my goodness, did you know you were winning? And did you, did you sense it? Did you, no. Like in that moment when I stood there with two of my like very good friends, it was a big moment for all of us. But all I did was stand next to them, held their hands and I looked down at my feet and realized that I had icing sugar and flour all over my shoes. And all I could think of was, I better get these into the washing machine. But I think maybe that was avoidance. I don't know, but I, I cried for a good 20 minutes in front of the camera and they literally couldn't get anything out of me. Everyone always asked me, did you have a speech prepared? Did you know you were going to win? And the answer to both of those questions was no and no. And the words that came out of my mouth in that moment were, they came from somewhere deep. Um, words that I had clearly 
built up over years and then 10 weeks over doing the show because for me it was much more than winning a competition or baking cake. It was about finding a part of me that I'd lost many years ago and uh, believing that I could do something. And like I said at the end, like she did. And, 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 and that was that's what it was all about. To this day, even when I don't believe in myself, I think back to what I told myself that day. I, I live by those words. I live by those words now. And I know there are many people out there who live by them too. <laughs> That's the moment. That's the moment when the Queen introduced me to Prince Philip. I was like, lady, you've made it. The Queen just introduced you. Not any other way around. She introduced you to her husband, is all I'm saying. When I got the email to bake a cake for the Queen, firstly, I thought it was a hoax. Uh, so I ignored it for such a long time and I very nearly said no. I remember saying to my little girl who was, what, five at the time? So, I've been asked to make a cake for the Queen. And she said, yeah, but you've already made a cake for the Queen? I was like, no, I haven't made a cake for the Queen. She said, yeah, you have. We were arguing the whole time and then she just said, um, you have, you've baked a cake for the Queen. And I said, who's the Queen? And she said, Mary Berry's the Queen. I was like, oh. Oh, love, I hate to break it to you, but she's not the Queen. And she goes, yes, she is. So even in my house today, I baked a cake for the Queen Mary Berry and the other old lady was somebody else. So in my daughter's mind, I've baked for two queens, one queen, her queen, and then the other queen. So yeah, but she told me I should do an orange drizzle and that's why I did an orange drizzle for the queen. I still can't believe I ever have been on Graham Norton, ever. And you know how when a kid is about to fall, when your child is about to fall, you just go to save it? That's how I felt about my pastry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, save the pastry! Arnold Schwarzenegger is all I'm gonna say. See, stuff like that blows my mind. I'm like, what are you doing on that red couch? With Arnold Schwarzenegger, come on. And my brothers who love a gym, my husband who loves a gym, they're like, you don't even care that much. Why do you get to sit on a couch with him? <laughs> uh, I mean, like, surreal, right? Weird. Just bizarre. Uh, talking about Bake Off with Arnold Schwarzenegger staring at me. It's great. But when we'd finished filming, he came over and he gave me a hug and a kiss and said, well done, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you speak so beautifully. And he said, I will read your book. And then the following day, he followed me on Twitter. <laughs> got brownie content he's a bodybuilder he doesn't care um maybe on his cheat days i don't know i don't know it was funny and my husband was like screenshot <laughs> it's ridiculous it's surreal it's ridiculous but um it was it was it's quite a memory on your marks get set this was so much fun Paper first. Go crazy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be timid. Oh, okay. Don't be shy. Oh, my God, I'm telling off the future King of England. Did you see that? I was telling off the future King of England. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Perfect. That's it. This was very cool. Mary, there's a, there's a line here, Mary. This is, this is our side, Mary. Yeah, get lost, Mary. Go on. Go back. Wow, look at that. It's very difficult, I have to say. <laughs> No, that was, uh, that was, honestly, that was surreal. Of anything I've ever done, that was probably the most nerve-wracking for me because it was like, you know that, he's just a person, but he's also the future King of England. It, it, when you say it out like that, you can't, yeah, it's, yeah, see? Words, gone, none. It's, it's bizarre. But I watch it back, I'm telling the man off. I'm actually telling him off. And, and so Mary's doing a pretty good job as well. Like we're both just telling them off. And that's just testament to who they are actually. They're really lovely, just, you know, easygoing people. It was just such fun uh, and completely just a privilege to be able to do something like that. So yeah, nerve wracking, but, but really good fun. It doesn't get better than this. No, it doesn't. Fudgy brownie base. Someone says, I don't like chocolate. Often that comment is enough to stop a whole conversation. Isn't it just, uh, who doesn't like chocolate? It's ridiculous. I love this recipe so much. My... <sighs> Vegans, look away now. If you're gonna have a brownie, make, make it, the it the ultimate one. one. Yes, it. get in, girl. Money can't buy you happiness, but brownies can. Yes! Ah, God, they're my favorite brownies. They're so much fun to make.
turn your brownie upside down your brownie, right? The best, literally the best brownies. I remember when I first went on Bake Off, my husband said, whatever you do, just don't get kicked out week one because that'd be so embarrassing. I'm like, you are not being supportive right now. And I only really practiced my bakes up to like week two or three. So I thought, oh, I'm, I might make it up to week two or three. No, never expected to ever, ever make it to the final. So to say that I ever expected to have my own cookery shows or my own cookbooks, for me, it's unfathomable, you know, that I would ever be where I am today. And I don't take that for granted ever because I love my job. Uh, I love what I do. And when I do anything, I do it well and I do it wholeheartedly. And I think that's why I love making the cookery shows. And I think that's why I love, people love watching them. It's a serendipitous moment for me when I won and got into a job that I never imagined I would ever, ever do. So it's a very, it was a happy mistake that I'm happy to live and I call my career now. So ultimately, it's about, for me, it's about space. You know, I've been able to work in a space in publishing and television and spreading joy through food and cooking and the thing that I love the most. And my legacy, the thing I'd like to be remembered for is for creating space for others. Uh, because there'll be lots of people out there watching me and saying, you know what, if she can do it, then so can I. And, and that, that, I hope that's my legacy. And in the meantime, I'd love to just keep writing recipes and keep making television. Thanks guys for watching and you can get my new cookbook Fast Flavors if you click in the link in the description below. And don't forget to click here to subscribe to Penguin for more videos like this.